Good morning, boys and girls. Today is the feast of St. Peter and St. Paul. Some of you may be called Peter or Paul, or maybe some members of your family. Well, today is their feast as we think about these two wonderful saints. We know that St. Peter was chosen very specially by Jesus, and eventually, you know that he actually went to Rome to preach God's word and it was there that he was martyred. And St. Paul, well, St. Paul started out as a person who hated Jesus. He even looked after the, the cloaks of the men who stoned the first uh, Christian martyr, St. Stephen. So let's listen to the gospel of today. One day Jesus said to his disciples, Who do people say that I am? Some people say that you're John the Baptist. Others say that you're Elijah or Jeremiah or one of the prophets from the past. Then Jesus said, But who do you say that I am? The disciples were silent until Peter said, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus smiled at Peter and said, My heavenly Father has helped you to understand this. You are Peter, Petros, and on this rock, Petra, I will build my church. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you enforce here on earth will be enforced in heaven. Whatever you dismiss here on earth will be dismissed in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So we know that Peter knew who Jesus was and he was ready to proclaim it. He was ready to say it out loud even when the other disciples were silent. But you know, the person I want you to think about is St. Paul. Because Paul started out as a man who hated all that Jesus stood for because he felt it was taking people away from God rather than towards God. But on his way to Damascus from Jerusalem where he was going to arrest Christians and put them in prison and have them whipped, Jesus appeared to him in a blinding light. And he said to him, Saul, because that was his Jewish name, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? And Saul, who was to become Paul, said, Lord, who are you that I'm persecuting? And Jesus said, I am Jesus. So he was teaching us a very, very important lesson. And the lesson is that what we do to others, we are doing to Jesus. I know none of you want to hurt anyone. We want to be kind and loving like Jesus. But you know, on our journey, sometimes we find it difficult to be good to people because somehow there are some people we just don't seem to like. But it doesn't matter whether we like them or we don't like them. We can make a choice to be good to them. Paul went on to become a great follower of Jesus. And he went on many a journey, 
became a great missionary and he ended up in Rome where he was beheaded because he wouldn't give up preaching and telling people about Jesus. Our Bishop John has a little prayer that he loves to finish his homilies with and it's this. Lord, stay with us on our journey. Well, Jesus definitely stayed with St. Paul on his journey. And you mean as much to Jesus as Paul meant to him. So maybe this coming week, every morning, in your morning prayer, you could turn to Jesus and say, Jesus, stay with me on my journey.